Let's talk about some annotation options for our alignments. So I'm going to go ahead and annotate this alignment. And uh, it was created just using the uh, GEP alignment feature definition. So from Open Roads Modeling Workflow, I'm going to go to Drawing Production and just use the Element Annotation command. Select my center line and reset to complete the selection. And now I'll annotate this alignment. So this is annotated with some default settings. And uh, you can see the uh, cardinal points are annotated uh, pointing towards the center of the curve on each side. Stationing is on the left. Um, the curve data is just going to come in a default location that's defined in the uh, annotation definition. So let's um, say you've got a case where you'd like to flip the stations to the right side instead of the default left side here. Um, so what we've created is some new annotation groups that will allow you to do that. So we have a couple new groups that um, have some different options for you. Now this applies also to existing alignments. So if I had used the GEX alignment feature, then there's uh, also some annotation definitions that go along with that. I'm just going to demonstrate this on a proposed alignment. Uh, so what I need to do is uh, look at my open road standards. So when this is annotated, it's copying the settings to my local file. And if I look at standards, look at my local file, I'm going to start by the annotation groups. Now this is not where we're going to make a change, but I just want to show you uh, what was copied in. So there's an annotation group of the proposed alignment stationing, and that's the default annotation group for this particular alignment. And if I select that, you'll see uh, it's got an option here with an annotation list that varies. Well, that list is all the different pieces of this annotation and their settings. And those are actually the individual annotation definitions that are found down here. So here's each of those individual settings that are defined um, for this annotation group. So we're not going to make any changes here or here. What we're going to take a look at is the feature symbology. So under linear and alignments, here's our GEP alignment. And this is the uh, symbology settings for that particular feature definition. And one of the symbologies is which annotation group is used. So it's using that uh, default P alignment stationing. So if I click in that field, I've got a drop down arrow. And I've got some uh, options here under our annotation uh, for alignments. So for P alignments, and then there's some for X existing alignments. Uh, there's some new options we've added to force all the annotations to the left, force them all to the right, or just put the stations on the right. So I'm going to start with that one just by selecting it from the list. And uh, it'll go out and redraw my annotation. So as that's redrawing, what's happening here is for this particular feature definition, it's now using a new annotation group that puts the um, stations on the right that left the cardinal points alone and they're pointing towards the center of the curve. Uh, so that's only changing the uh, station. It's not changing anything else. Now, since that is applied to the feature definition, if I had any other alignments in this file, any alignment that was using this GEP alignment feature definition would be impacted by that change. So if you're doing uh, one alignment per file, it's not going to impact any other alignments. If you've got more than one alignment in here, it's going to impact all of them using that particular feature definition. Okay, so let's look at the other options that are available. So that was just to uh, put the stationing on the right. Uh, the other options are force all to the right. So I'll go ahead and select that one. And what that's going to do is uh, put the stations on the right as well as it'll force the cardinal point labels to the right. And you can see they flipped over here on this curve. They're no longer pointing to the center of the curve. And the last one is just forcing everything to the left. So I'll go ahead and select that one. There we go. And this is going to flip the uh, cardinal point labels to the left side. So hopefully those options give you a little more control of the labels. Of course, uh, once they're placed, you know, you can move them. Uh, just keep in mind that if you ever re-annotate this, they're going to go back to their default location.